Good morning, good morning, good morning. My goal today uh, is to create a water feature using a solar pump. And I have all the materials uh, out back. So what I have here are some stones that I picked up from the Home Depot. Actually, I picked up all of the stones from Home Depot. This is the uh, marble chips. And I also have the rainforest stones. And I have a planter that I'm not using. And I thought I would plug it. Comes with a plug. And just add water to this area. Add the stones. I initially had this in the planter with just water. This is a solar fountain pump and it does very well, but at the end of the day, the water is completely gone uh, because it moves around and of course the water does not stay within the pot. So I thought today I would try to enhance that by adding some stones to the, the bottom of the pot and my own pot in the pot. Fill the pot with more stones and uh, add the black stones on top as a little extra feature. So the marble chips has a coating on the stones. So I'm soaking them in a bucket of water because the pump filter indicates not to clog the pump. So I have the stones here, and I'm just going to add some water. To rinse the stones. Until the stones run clear. So I'm going to pour off the water. It would be ideal to have a strainer large enough to um, just place the stones in and rinse. But they're running pretty clear, so I'm just going to add the additional stones around the pot to keep it from floating, to make it more stationary. So I'm going to center the pot inside the pot to make it more stationary and put the stones around the pot and then add water and then put the floating device in it to see how that will work. I'm still in the market for a small water feature for the backyard, but I just need to look for something that's going to be in scale with a small backyard. So I'm going to pour this off and then I'm going to add this to the container over on the other side. Okay, so the goal is to center the pot evenly on all sizes. And I don't want this pot to float. So I added another stone. And once I have the stones that I just drained around this section, then I will add 
the pump into the center section of the pot. And this will keep it within the parameters of the smaller pot without floating around the outer portion, which is which causes, and I've done it in the past, which causes the water to not only stay in the pot, but keep this area wet. So here we go. And I'm just eyeballing this, this pot here and hopefully and hopefully it's it's stabilized enough that it's right in the center section. And in actuality, this is the scale of a water feature that I'm looking for to place in my backyard without breaking the budget. So I have my eye out for some clearance fountains or even a marketplace. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this all the way around. And then after I do that, this piece will hold this pot in place without it floating around. And then I'll put the decorative black stones around the top and add water. Okay, so I did the same thing with the black stones. I just rinsed them off according to the packaging. The stones are supposed to maintain their um, color not to fade, uh, fade resistance. So I'm going to stack these just for decoration purposes around the parameter of the pot. And then I'll fill it with water. And hopefully we have a stationary water feature. The solar pump works only during the day when the sun is out. And to be honest with you, that's just fine for me. Um, most of the days that I'm out here is during the morning hours, unless we are having a special event. So that works out fine for me. So this is one bag. I did pick up two bags of stones, the black stones, the marble chips. I picked up two bags and I used about a bag and a half. So I think I may be able to get away with one bag of the black stones. I picked those up at Home Depot. So I think I can return that and make use of the return in purchasing something else. Okay. So here we have it. I'm going to add the water to this part and see what happens. I believe the black stones have some type of coating on them to prevent the, the way they're beating up to prevent them from actually fading. Now, even though this is completely full, 
until the pot itself is completely saturated in water, then I have to keep filling it up because eventually this is going to drain into the larger pot. Okay, now both pots are cooked. Well, both pots is completely full of water. The second pot that you don't see is submerged in the water. And now I'll just add my solar pump to the center. And once the sun actually hits the, I'm standing in front of the uh, solar pump, so it's not going to actually um, spring up, but it's doing exactly what I want. I want it to stay right in the center section of the pond. And I will lose some water, but once the water uh, evaporates, the pump will sit in the center section. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy gardening. There you have it. Perfect, perfect solution to my problem.